Welcome to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship doubles. We are in the final 12. Players are competing for the top two spots in their respective pools. In this match, we have the Slaters, Justin Fred needing no introduction, being last year's 2023 World Crokinole doubles champions. Against them, we have the Graysby brothers, Kyle in the white, Trevor in the hat. Graysby's had great success in the recreational division last year and opted to move up to competitive, which has turned out to work very much in their favor as they are now amongst the final competitors. Justin hunting for that 20, doesn't quite get it. Kyle unable to convert. Fred now. Ops to leave that backboard opportunity for Justin. We will see if Trevor is able to run some interference here. Messes with the clean backboard. Still an opportunity here for Justin, but certainly not a gimme. And he gets it. Justin unfazed. Kyle now going long on that 20 opportunity. Slaters are up in the 20. Graysby's have the hammer advantage in this round. So they are not too uncomfortable with two discs in the 15. Fred, very nice placement, posted and in between the pegs on Trevor's side. Players discussing whether they should try to interfere with that red disc in the 15 as to not give Justin another opportunity or to cut up the side for the safe takeout, which looks like what they will opt to do. Trevor is able to touch the disc, but doesn't get the off, keeping his on, and Justin takes full advantage of that open door. Kyle able to carve into the 15, but maybe an opportunity for Fred unless he opts to roll away. The Slaters are up 220s now, so no need to play super aggressively, and yes, that's exactly what Fred does. An unfortunate miss from Trevor. Back to Kyle now. Players know they need a 20. Running out of bullets now. Looks like he'll be going for the follow through. Kyle pushing up into the 15. Fred now content to hit and stick. Nicely posted. Trevor unfazed. Getting that disc off. Justin rolls into what looks to be an awkward spot. Good double attempt there from Kyle. Fred happy to hit and stick. Slater's in control of this round. They have, at this point, all but won the first round and will be taking the first two points of this game. Flip to some highlights. We see these nice backboards from Slater taking advantage of every opportunity left for him and a nice double takeout from Kyle. Trevor now to open with the 20. Slaters will have hammer advantage in the second round of this game. Kyle, the first to miss. A heavy hanger, which looks like Fred will be going for, unable to get it. Trevor with a nice conversion there. Slater draining the open 20. Kyle finds his range. Very nice, Grasby Brothers now up in the 20. Pressure on Fred who doesn't crack, also getting the 20. And Trevor now goes long. Looks like Justin not quite able to get a 20 there. And oh, Kyle following suit after Fred from that first round opts to drain his disc, leaving a backboard for Trevor. 
if Trevor is able to convert, looks like he'll be angling in for this. And, oh, very nice shot. I thought he would have just gone for the backboard, but he opts to angle in from the five. Big risk, big reward. Justin follows with an open 20. Kyle, happy to hit and perhaps unintentional, but very well posted. Fred opts just to touch and to keep his disc on the board. Slaters do have hammer advantage, so the Gracie brothers do have some work to do here. Trevor debating the best way to get a 20 here and not quite looks like he just slipped out and that black disc is on just barely tough to see with the shadow of the disc on that line but players agree it is still in Slater is in a very very good position now it'll be something of an awkward double takeout for Kyle or Trevor if they want to put pressure on the Slaters. Kyle with an unfortunate mistake. Fred makes it hurt, taking the 20 opportunity. Trevor rolling far into the five. Justin happy to peel. The Slaters are in a very nice position. Double and a 20 for the tie or to make Fred shoot. Either way, Slaters will take this second round, going up four to zero in this game. Two rounds remaining for these players, seeing some highlights. Very nice backboards from Trevor, but that open 20 from Fred, which seemed to be the ceiling shot of that second round. Justin to open, going long, uncharacteristic. Kyle converting on that. Heavy hanger, very nice shot. Fred also going long. Very displeased with that shot. Trevor almost able to convert. Leaves a heavy hanger for Justin, who takes his time and unable to convert. Kyle now with yet another hanger opportunity. And gets it two for two. Now up two in the 20s cup with hammer advantage. The Graysby brothers are in very nice position as it stands. Trevor coming up short. Not a clean opportunity for Justin, but certainly there for an angle in. Seems like he was most concerned with the off than the 20, which he got. No 20 there. And Kyle is parked nicely between the pegs. Fred almost bounces back for a 20. Not quite. Trevor gets the off. Unable to convert, but on the right side of the hole. Justin will need a follow through. He followed through all the way to the five. Kyle content with a hit and stick. Fred now does some good work to get play back into the center. And Trevor brings it right back out, leaving zero opportunities for Justin. Trevor and Kyle discussing. The best play looks like they've cut away any chance for Fred to angle in here. Yeah, he catches a peg. Trevor will be forced to shoot through the pegs. A very nice shot. And again, no opportunity for Justin to work here. Justin rolling away, hoping to set Fred up for something. They will, at best, be looking to tie this round. Even if Fred gets a crazy 20 off this, all Trevor will need a valid shot. And that is that. The Graceby brothers take this third round, bringing the score to 4-2. to two. We see this nice consistency from Kyle on these backboard 20s. Very nice work. Kyle now to open this final round, draining the 20. All players have now found their range. Fred follows suit. It is nice to see a game that isn't heavy on the open 20s. We get to see a lot more of the strategic side of Crokinole play. Kyle, the first to miss. 
nicely placed between, nearly between the pegs. Fred unable to get the off, but maybe a awkward heavy hanger opportunity for Justin here, which would put them up in the 20s with hammer advantage, would be very advantageous. Not quite able to get it. Parked awkwardly. Kyle will maybe be trying to carve in. I don't know if he's more concerned about getting that off or getting his disc in. We will see what he does. Stays between the pegs. Doesn't quite get the black disc off. Fred unable to get that angle in opportunity Leaving Trevor with a chance to go up in the 20s. Slater's still not in a horrible spot. Two discs on the board, one in the 10, one in the 15. If the situation stays the same till the end of the round, the Slaters will take this by five points. So, the Gravesbys need to either demote one of those discs. An unfortunate miss. Fred now, if he can get this open 20, the Slaters will be in very good standing. Unable to convert. Maybe a touch 20 opportunity here for Trevor. Doesn't get it, but he does get an off. Justin now rolling down to the five. Not sure if that's what he wanted. Kyle hunting for that double that they need. Not quite able to get it. Fred looks like he was trying to carve up into the 15. Just catches a peg. Trevor now will be looking for a double. Which he gets. Very nice. Hidden on the far side of the pegs from Justin. Who will have the final shot. So if they can keep play over there and keep play on the outside. Graysby Brothers may be able to get a tie or a win out of this round the way it's looking right now. Players discussing strategy. This is very, very interesting. Gets that off. Graysby's with two discs on the board and up a 20. Is Fred able to get a double here? Unable. Unfortunate mistake. Cuts it too thin. If Trevor can get this awkward disc off, and he does, Justin will need a double and a 20 off a peg to make this round a tie. Gets a bounce back, but not quite. And the Graysby brothers will take this final round, bringing the score of this game to 4-4. Four, four. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more action from the final 12 of the World Crokinole Championship doubles and see which of these teams moves on to the final four. Thank you for watching and as always, make it a great day.